Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about this smoke tumbler. I'm gonna go through step by step how to get it done. Make sure you subscribe below if you haven't done that yet. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a smoke cup um, and then I'm gonna show you how to put on a tattoo decal. So what I did was I first, I've spray painted this cup. Um, I just used this um, Rust-Oleum flat white um, because I, I with the smoke you want it to be like no drips no nothing you want it to be like absolutely perfect and to be honest I have trouble with the universal white and doing that I don't have a lot of practice and I just really want this cup to be perfect because it's mine and it's gonna be amazing so I have a candle super cute from anthropology and I'm actually gonna use a fork um, and you'll see when you do it um, your fork is ruined, so don't use like a nice fork. I bought one, was it from Target, but you can like go to Dollar Tree or whatever. Um, so when you put the fork in, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the black smoke comes out and you're just going to, you know, twist and move your cup so it doesn't get too much in one area. Um, there's no like one way to do this. It's sort of like a wood grain, like, you get a unique cup every time you try it. So, here we go. So you can see. you can see the smoke landing on the cup. You want to move it so not too much ends up in one spot, but whatever you come up with will be awesome. And you just kind of decide, you know, how much and how little you want. And then you can decide when you're done. I think this looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to get a little bit more up at the top here. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to... Maybe I'll get the bottom a little. So now, in about, I don't know if I have to do this, but I'm gonna sort of let this be for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna use some clear spray paint. So I'm going to spray with this clear coat. I'm just gonna do a light coat, and then I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour, and then I'm going to continue on. 
All right, I'm gonna speed things up here and just do a quick overview. I have a separate video linked below um, that goes through the in-depth process of how to make your own temporary tattoo. But basically I printed it, I put on this transfer film, and then I'm going to um, cut the design out as close to the design as possible. Um, you can use temporary tattoos that you buy at the store or you can make your own. Okay, so now I peel back this film and then I'm going to stick this onto my cup. But you have to be very careful because once you stick it down, you can't stick it back up, right? It's, you're going to ruin your tattoo. So, making sure that it's lined up. When I'm pressing it down so everything is stuck to the cup. I should say um, I finished my clear coat um, probably about an hour ago. I ended up doing two coats, um, two light coats, just to be sure. Um, and okay, now once it's stuck, I've got a damp paper towel. Just going to get this wet. And you definitely need to seal your smoke, otherwise this water is gonna have a problem. Okay, so this particular tattoo paper says after 10 seconds, you can remove the paper. I'm gonna use a little more water. And there you have it. So I am going to let this dry. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to before I turn over and do the other side. So again, I'm just going to peel the adhesive off, and then I'm going to lay my decal. Pressing it down. And you see, the other side's just fine. But you want to be careful. Because once you lay it, there's no repositioning it. Okay, and then I'm taking a damp, wet paper towel. And it says to keep wet for 10 seconds. And then you peel it right off. So now I've got two sides of my smoke cup. And holy cow, do I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm just taking some paper towel and wiping, sort of dabbing 
any of the wet spots and I'm gonna let this dry so I can't um, seal it for an, at least um, like 48 hours because of my spray paint so that should give this plenty of time to dry on both sides before I move and seal. All right, so I'm using Bright Tone for all of my layers on this cup. You can start with extreme protection if you want, um, but you again, you always want your last few layers to be bright tone, um, and you're just gonna use less layers overall. So I'm just spreading it, making sure I get it all over my cup. Use about two milliliters for the whole cup um, and get it fully covered. I'm just gonna speed it up here um, while I finish this layer. Um, so make sure when you finish your layer, you let it spin for about an hour or so um, till it's dry to the touch and then you can take it off your turner or you can keep it on your turner, it doesn't really matter, um, for a total of four hours before you move further um, with any additional coats. So you need to be make sure you give it adequate drying time before you do a second coat. So I'm gonna let this spin and then I'll be back when it's time for another coat. Hey guys, so I have done two coats of Bright Tone. I'm about to do a third. Um, I think I'm probably going to need like four or five. Pro maybe five. I don't know. Um, but I think also doing that, my, my decals will be covered, but it'll give it, you know, good um, strength um, so this cup will last. So make sure that you are using just a little bit you'll need you know somewhere around two mls um, for your 20 ounce cup um, you really don't need a lot um, just enough for it to self level um, I like to use a bare finger um, you can just feel that you have it everywhere um, I think it works really well. Make sure that you're waiting at least four hours in between your coats. Um, if you don't, you're going to cause yourself some other issues. So thin layers, wait four hours between layers. Um, it only needs to spin for like an hour though. So after an hour... You can take it off the turner and free up some space. So that's it. I'm just going to keep going until I can, cannot feel my decals anymore, um, which are tattoos. If you um, want to see more details on the tattoo process, um, check out my other video on that. I'll link it below. Um, and I'm just going to keep going until I'm satisfied. There's no rule as to how many you have to do. So I'm probably going to do, um, five coats of bright tone and call it a day. Here is the finished cup, and it is one of the easiest cups I've made so far. I highly recommend doing it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and um, I hope you like it.